Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and this is a tutorial, a video tutorial on an ancient Viking board game called Nefertafo, or the King's Table. And this is actually, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this and how to play this game. And it's actually quite wonderful, pretty amazing 1500 year old board game that the Vikings used to play. Um, and there are a lot of different variations, but I'll cover some of that stuff. It's really wonderful. Kind of get some similarities to chess and checkers, but actually quite different. And one of the things, one of the things I love, I love about this game is it's asymmetrical. And what I mean is that in chess or checkers, both players have the same amount of pieces and they're laid out the same way. But in Nefertafel, it's quite different. You can see here you have one team that has 12 pieces and a king, and the other team has 24 pieces. So it's really quite a wonderful. And um, I'll show you how to make this. Um, just this, these pieces are just made out of marblex, but you can use just about anything, paper mache or wood or some kind of clay, you know, carve some pieces out of wood. Um, so, and I've got to give a special thanks to Danielle for making this board and for researching the rules of how to play, because there's a lot of different variations. So this is Nefertafel, the ancient Viking board game. So let's launch into the tutorial. Oh, and one more thing is, um, thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, I thank you very much for that. If you're not a subscriber, you might want to think about subscribing. I do all kinds of fun stuff, a lot of different types of subjects. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video or this game. Um, leave a comment, ask a question, anything like that. I very much appreciate it. Um, thank you very much. Let's on into the game, how to play and make the game Nefertafel. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the board, let's out the board first. It's simple enough. It's um, one inch squares, and it's a grid that's 11 by 11. Easy enough. So there's 121 total squares. So you just lay that out so we can paint it. And you can have a lot of fun with this and design it and decorate it any way you want, just about. But I'll show you all the various squares and what they are and what they mean. So there you go, 11 by 11. Now let's take a look at how we're going to paint it up. The four corners of the board are important. Those are the end pieces, uh, the end squares, that's where the king goes to win the game. And only the king is allowed on those squares. So let's mark those off. Next we're going to mark off the opposing pieces, the opposing team. See that five like that? Six. On all four sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's where the opposing pieces will go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And one more over here on the left. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now the king and the king's forces. The king goes exactly in the middle of the board. That's why the 11 by 11 is important, because you've got five on each, each direction. The king goes there. Now your king's guard. There are 12 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there you go. That's the layout of the board, how you paint it, and how you put the pieces to play. Let's take a quick look at that board, what it looks like. There you go. So paint it like this. And you can have a lot of fun with this. We did different, different decorations. You can see the gold paint pen for the lines. It's really quite nice. So now let's make the pieces. And we used Marblex clay, which is kind of nice. It's air drying clay. You can do it anything. Wood. We're going to make 24 opposing pieces like this. Those are a, a, a simple pillar. 12 king's guard that are like a wedge shaped pillar and one king. So 37 pieces to make. And I'll show you a little bit about how we make, how to make this. And a quick tip here is that, say, to get it nice and smooth, you, you use a little bit of water. And put some clay in that water to make it almost like a, a slip, like with um, when you're working with pottery. So you can smooth it out really nice like that. So that's a nice little tip. So we made our simple pillar here, and we're going to make 24 of these. You know, you can work it with your hands, get a nice shape, get it nice and smooth with the water. You press it down to get the shape nice. You know, have some fun with it. And you don't have to follow this exact type of style, just as long as your king's forces and your opposing forces are different shapes from each other. And uh, this is a nice tip here is put up, put up paint, the end of a paintbrush or a pencil or something in there. That hole that you make um, actually will help it dry better, faster, and will prevent it from cracking. Now we're actually going to do something here, 
take the pillar and make it into the king's guard for us by stretching it out to kind of like a wedge-shaped point. So we've made 24 of those pillars. Now we're going to make 12 of the king's guard. So yeah. A simple process and a neat tip. So bring those out to a wedge. And a lot of little different things you can do here, like if it's too big of a piece because you're stretched it out, you know, just cut, trim it down with an X-Acto blade, an X-Acto knife, or some kind of a sharp knife. And if you have difficulty getting those sides nice and flat, the way we like them, you can use the, uh, the knife to trim those sides down too, make them kind of crisp. So the base is square and fits in our one inch square, but it has a nice flat pyramid like look to it. So there you go. That's the King's Guard. 12 of those. Make 12 of those. So now let's do some painting. Um, and we practiced, we tinkered with a lot of different types of little pieces here, but here's the King's Guard piece. We painted all those red. And the opposing force is green. Nice coat of acrylic paint here. If you need to, do multiple layers. But this paint goes on pretty good, nice and thick. And then, you know, do some detail work. Uh, gold paint pen. Krylon. Krylon paint pen. Gold. Kind of nice. Have fun with it. And we painted symbols on all of these. And those symbols actually mean things. Um, you'll see in some of the other ones. And uh, on my website, I have uh, more about that. The various symbols like the king symbol and the sun symbol. And those are actually authentic. Just to make it see those symbols there. All the various things. They all mean something. And that king symbol means, means king. It's kind of neat. You can check out the tutorial on the website to see more of that. So, let's set up the board. Put the king in the middle, all the pieces around it. King's guard, now the opposing forces all the way around the board. And then we will move on to how to play the game, now that we're set up. Okay, so now the part you've been waiting for. How to play the game of Nefertafel. And uh, it's, it's pretty simple. It's not that complicated. And uh, why am I missing a piece? Oh, this piece goes here. Let's start with the object of the game. And uh, the object of the game is for the king to get to one of these four corner squares. If the king gets to one of those squares, the king's team wins. And it's the object of the game for the opposing forces is to stop that from happening. And um, if, they can, if you, they can do that by capturing the king. If they can capture the king, then the opposing forces team wins. Now, how do pieces move? Um, it's really like quite simple, just like a rook in chess. Any piece on the board, king included, can move either vertical or horizontal, as many spaces as is free. So this piece here could move horiz horizontal, one, two, three, four, or all the way across this way. And this piece here, my hands are shaking here. Uh, this piece here could move, you know, this way, as many as they want until it's stopped, or any number in between. So horizontal or vertical. Now, how do you capture pieces? That's kind of interesting. You, um, you capture pieces by flanking them, and bookmarking, kind of like bookmark, bookending them. Like, say we have a piece here. This red piece is here. And we had a green piece here. If the other green piece moved like this, so there's opposite sides, this piece is taken right off the captured and taken off the board. Simple as that. So now we show me let me show you another one. This green piece is here. This green green piece makes a move. This piece is flanked. It's taken off the board. Simple as that. So you continue to fight and move. So the king tries to get to the corner piece. And it's, it's pretty much as simple as that. So it's a lot of strategy because you can go all four different directions and you can make quick moves across the board. And it's actually a lot of fun and you've got to give it some thought. Um, one more thing is that these four pieces and the king's throne are considered hostile squares. And let me, let me show you what, what I mean by that. They're hostile to everyone. So let's say red, red had a piece. Now... <clears throat> the only piece, is, piece that can go on those squares is the king. No other piece is allowed on that square. 
but that square can be used for flanking. Let's say your red piece was here, and the green piece, this green piece moved like this. This piece is flanked by the green piece and the hostile square. It's flanked, so it would be taken off the board. So that's the same thing with the center. Um, the center square is hostile to everyone except it's right now it's not currently hostile to red to the king's team it's only hostile to the king's team when it's open so that piece could be used to flank and take this piece so four squares hostile to everyone can be used to flank the center square hostile to everyone can be used to flank but only when it's empty to flank the red king's team so that's it that's Nefertafel an amazing 1,500 year old game. If you make one, be sure to send me a picture. Uh, send me, you know, um, let me know what you think. Have some fun with it. <coughs> I got all kinds of stuff on my website, stormycastle.com, and here on my YouTube channel. You know me as Epic Fantasy. Thanks. Leave a comment. Um, uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, send me a picture if you make this game. <laughs>